Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Fist Ochi Combo. Now I just went ahead and went into the biography and collected some of the rewards right there. Now what I want to do is actually I'm going to start uh, doing the summon real quick because um, we need to get more of those, um, I think those potion points or uh, you'll see soon. But basically when you rank up a character, we need more of these, yes, enchantment potions. We need more of those. So um, also we are going to be going into the cross server arena. I know we have been uh, getting bumped around there. I'm going from platinum one to then platinum three. Yeah, guys, um, also make sure to drop a comment in the comments to let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. And uh, like and subscribe for more content. So right here, we're going to hop into the arena. Now, I have been upgrading my Gatai Zumasu's War Souls along with the Super Saiyan God Goku. But I haven't put them in yet because we don't have any links. Now, I know while we start refreshing who we're going to go against. But I know you guys have been asking in the comments, how can I get stronger? Um, why are my characters a little weaker? Or etc, etc, right? So uh, I'll talk about that throughout this fight. But um, I hope we can get the win and try and get to uh, Platinum 1. So um, as you can see... Um, the guy Taizumasu is doing his ultimate and um, I've upgraded his War Soul so he does have a lot more HP guys I think around 250,000 which is really good but his uh, his lineup is also pretty solid with the Super Saiyan uh, God uh, Super Saiyan uh, Blue Goku um, I wish I could have got him but um, I didn't have enough Dragon Stones at the time to get him but um, I believe he's SSS and not SSS Plus so that's why I went with the God Taizumasu from that old event just uh, in case you all were wondering now, um, some ways you guys can enhance your characters um, is by upgrading the gear. That is uh, pretty important. Now, also, you can upgrade the skills. You want to max out the skills for the level as soon as you can. Um, obviously, before you even throw them in your lineup, you want max skills. War Souls, you want to have, I would say, at least level 10 War Souls um, all around would be pretty good. Obviously, if they're like orange one or two, you can have all the War Souls unlocked. So I would definitely get those at least to level 10, if not to even 15. And uh, that would really help. Also, you can go to the, I believe it's in the, I forgot which category it is. But basically, you spend the Dragon Crystals to try and get your attack, defense, and HP up. And uh, when you meet some more criteria, you unlock more of the Shenrons. So I have all the Shenrons unlocked. I can show you guys that later. That is also really important for... Uh, getting a stronger character now another um thing which is kind of underrated but people really don't look at is just having the links activated for a character now as you can see the gatai zumasu uh, that i have doesn't have any links but he still is good just based on him being sss plus that's the only really caveat of having him right now is because once we get beerus and his other links like that we can uh, he'll get those boosts to the 25 percent attack and, um, and hp but um, now going to the next thing that you guys can do to uh, get a stronger character is by getting the moves. So you want to go get the moves, try and aim for purple or orange moves, and just quick sell the whiting and uh, green. But definitely use what you all have uh, to the best of your ability, obviously, until you get those purple and orange moves, and um, it gets easier from there on. So what I do, I like uh, stacking my best moves on my best character, or at least my uh, best attack type character. So I have them on the Kid Buu. You guys saw in like the last episode or two where we put it on the Gata Zumasu, but it didn't work out as good because um, it made more sense putting Gata Zumasu in the front row just because he does come back to life. So uh, yeah, I pretty much maxed out five or six of the orange moves and put them on the Kid Buu, and it's been working out pretty good, having decent results. But um, well, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but that Majin Buu did just come back a second time somehow. So um, I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought Majin Buu could only come back once, but um, that's pretty crazy. But anyways, uh, we're just going to wipe this first team out. Uh, we did pretty good right there. So here we go. We're taking on the second team. And hopefully we can get the win. Now I'm trying to think of other ways that you can enhance your characters. You could also... Um, upgrading their, their badges. Like the Esotericas and the Super Badge Souls that can increase their attack and, H attack and HP percentage. So that is really important. Now, another thing you guys could also do to enhance your characters is to rank them up and also star them up. That um, enhances their stats like crazy. Uh, preferably, I would get them to 6 star so you unlock all the skills with the uh, damage reduction and also the more damage uh, done to enemies. And once you get that, you can focus on the Divine Domain as that can also make a big difference in increasing the attack, defense, and HP. So yeah, guys, that's just off the top of my head of what some things you guys can do to increase your character strength and also synergy plays a role you know you don't really want to have a you know a defense type character in the back row 
where more often than not you don't really want to have an attack type character although there are some exceptions like hit and maybe even super saiyan uh, blue goku so just things like that but yeah we're getting pretty close i don't know actually if we're going to win this fight right now because um we are tanking the damage pretty well and we got lucky right there and didn't get any uh stuns but um we have to get an ultimate attack with kid Buu, and uh hopefully more of the damage goes toward the hit because he does have more hp it's so right here should be in okay shape easily take out that cell now we have to take out this back row pretty important and we do so that's pretty good and there we go so we got that win right there which is pretty good so we get the rank up to platinum one which is pretty nice so um, I'm trying to finish in Platinum 1 or higher for better rewards at the end of the whole um, the season, it's called. So you can go into the stats. You can see right here my Jiren. I'm trying to rank him up. I've been uh, getting more of those, I think, emeralds and stuff. You see his War Souls. Hasn't been upgraded that much. I do need to focus on it. But I have been mainly focusing on the Gata Izumasu. I upgraded his uh, War Souls pretty, uh, a lot, pretty much. And um, so in the arena, he has 100% extra HP which is really good help us stall a little more here's the gear for the super saiyan god goku haven't really improved that much on it but um i do want to get more shards of him i can either use universal shards and you can get universal shards from the i believe it is the best of cosmos or the not the best of cosmos the um cross war you can get them from the cross war so you can redeem those points for that and uh that's one way because um obviously he's not farmable so you guys just have to either use your resources that way and that's probably what I might have to do. But um, now we're going to go into an arena fight. And we're going to take on either Skittles or Unforgiven. Let's do Skittles. So let's go. So this is going to be tough. Taking out that Super Saiyan Blue Goku especially. So he did get the stun of that Gata Zimasu. Which is pretty unlucky for us. But um, that Super Saiyan Blue Goku heals a lot of damage. So I wouldn't be surprised if he did have a like all of his HP for that Super Saiyan Blue Goku toward the end of the battle too. But um, that's our main priority. Take out the Jiren and take out that Super Saiyan Blue Goku as fast as we can. See, we get the hit with Kid Buu. Get burns all around. But nothing really dramatic to lower their rage that much. But we do take out the Jiren right there, which is really good. The Super Saiyan Blue Goku basically only had 25% HP left, and just from that attack right there, he's now at basically 100%. So, crazy unit. I know you uh, guys also got him during the semi-annual event, so uh, definitely try and max him out. He's just also insane of a unit. He's going to either... You can either put him in the front or back row. I think he is attack type, but um, he's one of those exceptions because he heals himself. So, it's pretty crazy. So, again, right here, it's better to take out this uh, Fat Boo. And he does, and we got unlucky again, and the Majin Buu hasn't been coming back to life for us, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate. But I'm sorry, this is going to be a close fight. It's going to come down to these next one or two rounds. So let's see, we're low in the defense and the attack of the Goku Blue. Hit does a good amount of damage there, and we should be able to take out the Goku Blue now. But it's not enough to take out that back row, and that Rose is probably going to finish this off here. Yep, both of those back row killers right there, but that's all right. That was a really good fight. And we did get pretty unlucky, but I think if we did challenge him again, we could win. But that's alright, guys. So now we're going to go into the uh, moves. I'm just going to try and summon some moves right now. So let's see. Hopefully we get some luck. I'm going to spend 160 Dragon Stones. And we just got a green move, really. So that's alright. We're going to go smelt it. Smelt the white and the green. Get some orbs. So we got like 200 orbs right there. Now I can usually... I'm going to probably upgrade that on the Kid Buu. Spend these 970 and upgrade that orange move just a little bit more. So this was what looking like the stats. So 2,000 attack for that um, that Gata Zumasu. Now this is really important, and uh, as you guys know, if you guys have been watching this series, uh, we struggle with priority. So going first. So um, that's why you want to try and feed the food to your characters. But um, what I've been doing, I haven't been spending all my food on the uh i know i can give it to goku black but i want to wait until i get goku black rose and spend that food all into him because i probably will be using him if i do get him now if you guys also know how i can get goku black rose without spending money because as you guys know i am free to play so uh, that'd be great if you guys can uh, let me know in the comments below and as always thank you guys again for your support i believe we hit over 450 subscribers so thank you guys again for that 
Now I also heard that the developer of the game actually changed the name of the game from Dragon uh, Dragon Fist Ultra Combo to now I think Xenoverse, the Lost Dragon Ball. Someone told me in the comments. Um, um, I don't know why. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why. I think he created a new app for it too. Could be in the App Store, but that is the name for it. And um, I haven't downloaded the new new app. I've kept the old app and just. Uh, been uh, playing through here I haven't transferred my data or anything like that but let me know if you guys have also downloaded the new app or anything like that or experiencing any issues but now finally going into the shenrons i unlocked all the shenrons and this is an easy way to enhance your characters attack defense hp and obviously they have other stats underneath like the control rate and the uncontrolled rate in this one now i'll do the train 10 if i'm getting lazy and just want to spend my shenron crystals but yeah guys that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode of dragon fizz combo and as always i'm out later